Manchester United forward Alejandro Garnacho has been pictured again in football boots. Following his injury, Garnacho has been sidelined for the reason that selecting up an ankle problem in opposition to Southampton in the direction of the begin of March. It was once in the beginning concept the teenager's injury was a small one. However, United boss Eric Ten Hag validated it was once in fact worse than first feared, and he would be due a spell on the sidelines. He has, though, shared a put up on his Instagram account of his pink boots at United's Carrington coaching ground with the caption back with the boots. It's unclear when he will return to action, but in forthcoming return would be welcomed through United at this stage of the season. The injury listing is growing for United. It's ultra-modern edition Marcel Sabitzer, who pulled up throughout the warm-up before his sides win over Nottingham Forest on Sunday. Also absent is star man Marcus Rashford, alongside first-choice central shielding, pairing Rafael Varane and Lissandro Martinez, and left-backs Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia. Ten Hag, however, is hopeful Shaw and Rashford and Unique will return to action rather than later, even though Martinez has been ruled out for the relaxation of the season. The 18-year-old had damaged into United's first team this year, below the training of Eric Ten Hag, and has scored two goals in 15 appearances for United in the Premier League. He limped off in United's 0-0 draw against Southampton, after a firm but fair sliding tackle from Kyle Walker-Peters. Garnacho, who had come on as a substitute in the 73rd minute, regarded in suffering on the Old Trafford pitch after the undertaking on 82 minutes, however performed on for a similarly eight earlier than being taken off in the final minute. But he's now nearing a healing ND could make it lower back in time for United's run-in in the direction of the cease of the season. With that big boost to the red, choosing a team of the week is absolutely subjective and divides opinion however even David DeGi will have been taken aback to see his decision this weekend. BBC Sport analyst Garth Crooks picked out the Manchester United shot stopper on a weekend, the place he had zero pictures to save. Manchester United eased Nottingham Forest aside in a 2-0 win at the city ground, with DG largely a spectator. Of their six shots, Forest failed to get a single one of them on goal to bother DG. Despite Crooks himself conceding that DG's performance wasn't something special, he nevertheless got the nod as the goalkeeper in his latest Zai. The most difficult length for a goalkeeper is when he has nothing to do, and then is referred to as a pawn at a moment's notice, Crooks wrote in his reasoning. If there is one goalkeeper capable of triumphing a match, having spent a great quantity of time out of the action it is David DG. His performance against a cuss Nottingham Forest wasn't something different but absolutely dependable. His determination landed on a weekend where Chelsea's Kipa Arizabalaga and Aston Villa's Emi Martinez made some massive saves in their respective matches. Crooks believes that DG has earned the right to be United's new membership captain. However, his future at the club stays uncertain. DG's current contract expires at the cease of this season, and United are keen to minimize his £375,000 a week wages subsequent time around. It was reported remaining month that DG 32 grew to become down United's preliminary contract provide however negotiations are ongoing, and it is expected the long-serving stopper will commit. DG was once asked with the aid of BT Sport whether he wanted to remain at Old Trafford, ahead of the Red Devils' Europa League quarter-final first leg in opposition to Sevilla, which ended 2-2. I favor to enjoy, I desire to win trophies, the season DG replied. That is the most essential factor for everyone. Let's see what happens. The most essential thing is to be targeted on the next